Hi everybody, it's Lady Ravenswood, and I have something that I'd like to read to you. I wrote this back on September 11th, 2001. I call it Stand Up America. How can this happen here? Where was our consciousness of what was happening around us? Every day, grown-ups and children alike disappear from our streets. In other words, America, where was your head? What were you thinking? It's obvious the answer there is nothing. This thing that has happened to our great country is against everything our forefathers fought for. We have let our guard down and this loss is what happened. All our lives we were taught in school from of all the brave and wonderful things our ancestors did to preserve the freedom and security of that. All it took was a few lax moments and we were shown how vulnerable we really are. I believe we have been given a very loud wake-up call, my fellow Americans. We need to go forward and kick some major terrorist butt. We have sat back and basically thought to ourselves, oh, they wouldn't dare desecrate our hallowed grounds with anything this, like that is happening overseas. Well, guess what, America? They did. And they have murdered thousands of our brothers and sisters. Our children will have to grow up not knowing a mother or a father. We will miss forever a brother or a sister's phone call on a Sunday evening. The smiles that beam forth forth from a photo is all we have in some cases. How are we going to be able to explain to a small child when we're asked why didn't mommy or daddy come home? The images of the World Trade Center collapsing will be emblazoned on our souls as Americans forever, just as is the image of the USS Arizona on December 7, 1941. Every time I see one, I cry. The persons that did this didn't just take out two New York City skyscrapers, but they tried to take out America. And I don't know how you feel about that, but I will not sit passively by and let them do that. We are the greatest country on earth, and we have the resources to fight back and win. I feel as if I've listened to the president and cabinet members in the last few days and confident that we could go forth and find the person responsible for this horrible thing. And when we do, heaven help their soul because we aren't going to be nice. Thank you for listening to me. And now we should go home and hug our families and take stock of our lives as Americans. Thanks for listening, everybody, and blessed be.